<laughs> Hi, my name is Arnon Von Vanich. My name is Humu. 24 years old. 23 years old. I went to the IMG David Ledbetter Golf Academy when I was 11 years old, and I'm at bank there in, in the school. Uh, coach assigned him as my little bro to take care of at University of Florida. I'm here at the Elephant Nation Park with my friend Muhu. I didn't realize they're that big. I, I mean, was scared to touch them, but then they're, they're just like they're letting like, you pet them. You're just sitting right there, so uh, it's pretty amazing. You don't really get the chance to see these animal up close. This is a rare sight. Elephant is like a special symbol for Thai people. Elephant has always been the animal that kind of serve our royal family. I guess elephant play a huge role in, in building the city. Uh, moving big and heavy stones. Our civilization wouldn't have been where it is today without the help of the elephants. The Elephant Nature Park was founded by well-known animal conservationist Sandoan Chalert, aka Lek for short, in 1996. Lek believes in the philosophy of love and positive reinforcement and has received worldwide accolades and numerous awards for her work. Lek truly believes that love can cure all. She's rescued a lot of elephants here that have come with serious mental issues. They were very distressed and through her spending time with them, singing to them, showing them that they can trust her, she's been able to win them over. You know, elephants never forget and the elephants here don't, but they have a restored trust in humans now um, through lack. And that was something both our boys experienced firsthand. They're really, really friendly. I was able to, you know, touch them, and then it was, it was fine. It wasn't like uh, any other animal. And the elephants are, they're really smart. They're, they're waiting for you to hand the, the food over to their trunk, and uh, they're very um, human in a way. This is awesome. Like, I've, this is the first time ever doing this, and then to get this close to an uh, to elephant, it's just unreal. Pretty amazing moment right here. Um, I'm from Thailand, and. It's even rare for me to get this opportunity to come out here. It's really amazing and it, this memory will probably stay with me for a very, very long time. Next time when we come here, you know, no shirts, whatever, just not afraid to get wet, I think we'll have much more fun. In the 1900s, the number of elephants in Thailand was estimated to be around 100,000. But just over a century later, that figure had been dramatically reduced by 70%, with almost half that number domesticated. About a, more than 100 elephants come through here in the past 10 years. Right now we have 35, and most of them have been rescued from the illegal logging, trekking, circuses, uh, street begging, and forest breeding industries. Both Bank and Moo were clearly touched by the actions of the foundation. I think coming out here and seeing how injured they are and how all these people here are helping them, it almost makes me feel thankful that there are people like this out there helping these creatures. The park's long-term plan is to make human interaction with these beasts in their natural surroundings possible. And with the help of Good Samaritans all over the world, this vision could be made into a reality. Well, if people want to get involved, there's a few different ways. We offer day trips, overnight trips, volunteer programs, and all the money um, made from those goes directly back to help the foundation and the elephants you see here. Um, you can also go to www.saveelephant.org and click on Donate. I can see myself spending an entire year in the sun trying to, you know, just make the elephants better. A lot of respect to all the people that work here. An experience to be cherished, no doubt. Not every day that you get to, you know, do something like this. I just think it's a very, very good experience that I will treasure for a long time.